Thank you to my Patreon supporters. A double shout out thank you to Xavier Zamora, Velimir Brockovich, we love SafeMoon.com, Marad Shaker, Victor Vegas, and SafeMoon Oz for being higher level patrons. You can join that for as little as $1 a month. There is a link down in the description below. Also, thank you to my YouTube members. You can click the join button below this video if you'd like to show your support there. Please keep in mind that I am not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. Everything I'm sharing is my own opinion. It's my own research. I highly encourage you to go do your own research. With that being said, let's go ahead and dive on into the news. So what is the status with Scotty as well, or Scott, as well as with that of Brandon Fugel? If you don't know who these two individuals are, they're wealthy individuals, they are businessmen, and they have had direct ties with Safe Moon's team, most notably with John Caroni. And we've seen this historically, but as of late, everything's been very quiet. So what's their stance now? We've seen other people step up and say, ah, they're done with Safe Moon. Other ones saying they're stepping back from Safe Moon. Uh, some saying that they're selling their Safe Moon. Someone like me that's saying, hey, I'm going to keep doing content on Safe Moon. So it's a big mixed bag of uh, results here. So Darren had actually tagged Scotty Coin. There was a whole conversation that went on kind of leading up to this. Actually started with this point from Crack of Dawn who said, how come the army shut people out? When they make money on other projects, investing in crypto, our goal is to make money. No, the cult treatment just cracks me up. They continue on during this dialogue. And then one point, Darren tags Scotty because he's kind of mentioned here. Says, hey, Scotty Coin, mind taking a moment to respond to Brian here? And Scott Paul responded by saying, I don't do anything with SafeMoon publicly anymore because of people in the army, because of people in the army like Brian. It's full of a good... Uh, the language here is a little bit messed up, sorry. It's full of good people, but the toxic minority ruins it for normal people who don't like cult crypto. I made friends with John doing my YouTube channel. Safe Moon Army adopted me in. Darren then said, appreciate the reply. Do you still hold Safe Moon or believe in the project? Scott said, I hold Safe Moon and 70 other tokens. Of late, it is not in my top 10 favorite projects, I have good friends there and think their roadmap is promising. And the response was, why as of late? Just curious. Thanks. Scott said, because it's been crapping the bed for three months. CryptoCat responds saying, you seem to know a bit about what is coming for SafeMoon. Think it'll get back in your top 10 again? And Scott responded by saying, I want it to be top three for me again. And I actually think it can be. Brandon Fugel and I are wanting to have planned meetings with Captain Hoddle, aka John Crony, the CEO of SafeMoon, and Game Plan. Brandon actually responded to this. It said, so much incredible potential and ability to execute on John Crony's vision. So this is great. This suggests that both of them are still pro SafeMoon. Scott Paul, he's saying, ah, I've got a whole other collective group of cryptos that are out there and with everything that's been going on the last three months, I'm not going to put SafeMoon in the top 10 at the moment. But with upcoming conversations, there's definitely an opportunity there to see if we can get it to go back up. So here we go. What is going to be happening in the near future? We'll have to wait and see. But Brandon Fugel, Scott Paul, making it clear that they are still being supportive. And both of them, businessmen, Scott Paul being tied in with Giddy Token. Giddy Token did launch recently, and it's been doing quite well as far as uh, compared to its initial launch. So very interesting to see what else could continue to evolve. And, you know, Brandon Fugel, very well-known name, especially tied with a lot of the real estate stuff. He's over there in the state of Utah, right next to the Safe Moon headquarters. In fact, in the same actual office building <laughs> it's like hey i'm gonna take the elevator down all right let's have a conversation okay let's go back up i'm gonna go back to my work so it's gonna be interesting to see how this all continues to play out let me know what you guys think about this in the comments down below i do have referral links if you want to get free crypto free stock you want to protect your crypto uh happy easter everyone i hope you guys are having a great day God bless. Again, I am not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. If you're new to the channel, do not forget to hit subscribe, hit the thumbs up like button, click the bell icon. God bless. I will see you in the next episode.